Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to break down all of the new content for Hockey Ultimate Team. We've got some brand new event items, including one of the best at the position that is available so far early on in the game. So we'll break all that down. As always, I want to take a special moment, guys. Thank you for 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. When I started my channel, I never thought I would even come close to that mark. So I want to say thank you for everyone that has supported me recently or just over the last four years. Thank you, guys. All right, let's get into the new content. All right, guys, we're going to start first with the prime times. We'll start with the 83 Tory Krug. He's always one I get asked about, and I've mentioned this before. Size on defense is extremely important, and you can give up a little bit of speed for it. Tory Krug cards are a lot like Brad Marchand cards. They just... Unfortunately, his build does not match the position that he plays. Like, if he was a winger, he'd be much more effective. But it's very hard to use this card effectively because in his own zone, he's going to be an extreme liability. That said, he does have Gladiator, which does help out a little bit with 81 body checking. But at 5'9", he's not going to knock anyone off the puck. However, left defense is so bad early on in the game that if you need someone fast that has at least, you know, 87 speed is usable. So if you're stuck with like a low 80s card that has like 83 speed and he's not tall, um, with a decent shot, this is okay, but not for very long. Like you're going to find that once someone gets cycling on you, it's going to be very difficult. Next, we've got the 83 Vinny Shrocek with well-rounded as his synergy 510. Does have a decent faceoff rating and is, you know, listed as a centerman with 86 speed, 86 acceleration. That's okay. And his shot's not bad either. Hand stats, he's a very well rounded card. It's the problem is if you're going to play him at center, he's only 5 foot 10. And he's not super elite in terms of quickness or shot like Bray Ferraro is. It's just very difficult. I'd much rather use him on the wing. However, centerman is very weak, much like left defense is. So right now he's going for about five, 6,000 coins. If that falls to like three, that's not awful, but I don't know if it will because he's an 83 overall and you can cash them in in sets, so I'm not really sure on that. But nonetheless, he's a okay card, kind of like a Sidney Crosby, just not great at anything, but good at pretty much everything. Next, we've got the 83 Elias Lindholm going for like 15,000 coins with booming shot and big rig, which I love as a superstar ability, is 6'1", so he's got decent size. 87 speed, 87 acceleration, and with booming shot, his agility gets up to 88 shots in the mid-80s. Hand stats in the mid-80s as well. This is a much more well-rounded card. The problem is there's just so many good right-handed wingers. However, the fact that he does have big rig is um, you know, pretty enticing, to be honest with you, but right now he's going for like 15,000 coins. I wouldn't pull the trigger on that, to be honest with you, but uh, not a bad card for sure if you're someone who likes controlling time on attack as opposed to using guys like Pasternak or Panarin this is a much cheaper option for you now we've got the 83 Logan Couture who's been nuts for my Sharks early on with Gladiator so that gets his body checking up a little bit 88 speed 88 acceleration definitely usable and I, I would you know I'm completely okay with using him as a winger as well mid 80s shot mid 80s hand stats I'm actually low-key pretty curious to try this one out especially on my free to play team um, but we'll take a look at what he's going for in the auction house right now. Again, 83s are kind of price locked around like in the teens. I don't know if I'd spend that much on him, but you know, 88 speed does have its value for sure. Then we've got the 84 Linus Allmark going for about 20,000 coins. And again, the problem now that we're seeing is that because we know how event sets are going to work and things like that, where it's instead of just trading in gold, it's trading in specific gold. So 84s will now hold value higher than what the actual cards are. You're you're paying for the number on the card, not what the actual the sum of its parts essentially. So Spark is a nice synergy to have on him. Six foot four with 85 speed. This is definitely a usable goaltender, but I don't I would not pay 20,000 coins for a goaltender if I was free to play. Even if I wasn't uh, on my main team, I just you know I, I'm it's not going to help you out a lot, and that's a lot of coins for someone who's not exceptional. And then next up, we've got the 89 Nathan McKinnon. So he does get a new tier upgrade for his X Factor and comes with Thief. This is an incredible card, no no lie. 92 speed, 92 acceleration and agility, 90 shooting, 90s hand stats. This is legit probably one of the more perfect cards in the game right now. However, you see with 92 speed, that's ba that's what Matthew Barzal has, his X Factor card. That's why he's so valuable. And with Thief, though, his defensive awareness and stick checking gets all the way up you know, to into the mid-90s. And you can even use him at center as well now uh, with that. That thief activated what i will say is this card is going to cost you about you know three to five hundred k probably to get them 
I probably wouldn't even go after that if I was looking for that McKinnon card because the 88 version has, you know, is obviously one less than everything, but his speed is exactly the same and comes with Magician, so you can get that deking puck control and agility up. I, I think I would just rather go after this one if I was going to. I'm not going to lie. I have been on the hunt. I have base McKinnon in my on my team, and I haven't been going after these cards because I've been waiting for, you know, the X Factor version. It's just not available on the market. You're going to pay 600k for him. It's very tough, and there's a reason why he's going to be one of the best cards all year long. But obviously, now that he's got Tier 8, you know, he's just an absolutely nuts card, and it's, um, you know, very, very tough. If you're able to get him, do not sell him. Same with McDavid and Matthews. Just keep them the whole year. Uh, you're not going to have to go out and get new cards. On to the new event items. We've got the 80 Shane Wright, and honestly, I hate when they release these kinds of cards. Uh, it's just kind of, just simply aren't usable, uh, and, and it's tough. I get that, you know, maybe there's Kingston. I'm a diehard Ice Dog fan, so, you know, if they release least a, a, a you know a gushkin card or, or something like that i would obviously want it you know but i can't use him in game unless i play offline and even if i play offline if you're playing superstar squad battles it's still very difficult to use cards like this it's it's frustrating make them usable this one just isn't 69 endurance i mean you know his speed isn't awful but it's it's yeah it's just not much else you can talk about here it sucks you can't use them but here's the 80 Shane Wright. Next, we've got the 83 Merrick Zidlicki with Spark, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, right defenseman, 5'11", with 86 shot power and 83 accuracy. That's not bad. Again, I talk about this a lot, that shooting uh, on defensemen are very weak early on, and this one's actually got half decent to find both power and accuracy over 80, uh, which is kind of rare. His speed is okay, but at only 5'11", it doesn't make up for the fact uh, that he's only got 86 speed. You know, I mean, Victor Hedman has is 6'6 and has 86 speed. So that's just, he's not going to be very valuable to you. So this would be a cash in for a set in the future. We've got the 84 Tyler Sagan. And this card is interesting. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, and has Gladiator, which does help out quite a bit. Bumping up his balance, wrist shot power, and body checking if you're able to get that activated. Ankle breaker, I wouldn't really touch. But this is low-key one of the better wingers that's lower overall. So you might be able to get him a little bit cheaper. I have a feeling he won't be, but we'll take a look real quick. I mean, tw 24, 22. 2,000 coins. I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing like someone almost as good as Panarin, just bigger. This is a nice card. This might be a this might be a sneaky buy, guys. Uh, I would I would look into it if you're free to play or looking for another winger and you don't want to go out and spend the big bucks on like Nathan McKinnon or something. Tyler Sagan is a is a nice alternative. On the Blackhawks, we've got the 85 Jonathan Taves. He is going for about a hundred thousand coins. It's very expensive. Does have light the lamp and quick draw, which I have a feeling is why it's boosting his value so much. So his face off. Jonathan Taves obviously has one of the higher face off ratings, even though that doesn't matter. Quick draw does because that makes it where you basically win every draw in the defensive zone if you tie up. So it's that's a very, very unique ability. And it's the superstar ability, not the zone ability, so it costs half the price. It's obviously half effective, but still enough. 86 speed is okay on centerman. This is one of the better all-around centermen in the game. And I've mentioned this before. Center is so weak that this makes him almost inside the top four best centers in the game right now when you combine his size, shot, skating, um, you know, and face-off ability with that quick draw. So I would pay 100k for him but this is going to be a very very good centerman for sure then we've got connor hellebuck with wingman and extra padding uh, yeah, i would not spend on a goaltender he's got he's six foot four which is nice with 86 speed you know I would probably sell him no matter what because he goaltenders are always going to, these kinds of goaltenders are always going to go for more than they're worth because your best goaltender is how you play defense. However, he is a very good build. So, you know, take that into account. And then we've got the big one, the 87 J Bowmeister with Protector. Six foot four, 206 with 89 speed, 87 acceleration, and 86 agility. This is one of the best left handed defensemen you can currently get in the game. So, if we take out the team builder cards, so Ulf Samuelson and Francois Bojeman, left defense is very weak. You've got the 88 Victor Hedman, Paul Coffey, but even him going for under 300,000 is basically non existent. So it's very, very limited at what you can do on left defense. This is going to be one of the cards that a lot of players are going to go after, and he is going to be very, very good. So if you can get Protector on him, his shot accuracy hits goes above 80, his shot power's at 90, and then you've got defensive awareness at 96, stick checking 92, and he's 6'4". This is a great card, and honestly, I have Paul Coffey, uh, Samuelson, and Victor Hedman. I might sell Coffey and grab Jay Bomeister because I think he's obviously going to go for much less. But this is one of the best left-handed defensemen in the game. This is on PS5. We'll see if there are any on the market. 200K. Low-key, that's not selling. 
man, I if he gets to like 150 for me, that's like an instant buy. Um, one of the better left defensemen in the game, in my opinion. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it. I will see you later on. Have a good one, guys.